in the fight for the title of best antivirus, oh, things can change pretty dang quickly. So today I want to take a look at Norton and Bitdefender's most popular plans and maybe see what's different from our last comparison. Eh, maybe then we'll see who truly is the best. So let's go ahead and start this Norton versus Bitdefender 2022 video. And hello there, I'm Mike from cybernews.com, your most reliable source of news and reviews. So before we start, some of you know that I always leave the best discount links down in the description for all the providers that I talk about. And Bitdefender vs. Norton is no exception today, so make sure you use them to get the best possible deal. Okay, first up, we gotta talk about Norton vs. Bitdefender malware protection. And detecting real malware threats on your system is key. And for that, Bitdefender takes a small league. Now, according to the AV Test Institute results, Bitdefender and Norton 360 both rank as top products. The 2021 AV Comparatives finding show that although both Bitdefender Total Security versus Norton 360 Deluxe, well, they are both of the highest tier. Bitdefender detected fewer false positives at four, while Norton had a whopping 22. But then in 2022, the tables flipped. Norton had four false positives and Bitdefender had eight. So yeah, it's always kind of a tight race between them. So now at this point, I wanted to do my own testing of Bitdefender versus Norton 360. So I popped in 10 really bad malware things onto our testing PC and started doing some science. Weird science. Ooh, boo, doo, boo, doo, boo, doo, boo. Kelly LeBrock, weird science. Anyone? No? God, I'm old. Okay, first let's go ahead and start with Norton. It's easy to start a scan from the desktop app. You can run the quick or full scan as well, using Power Eraser to scan for those hard to find threats too. The full system scan took around 10 minutes and it managed to catch eight malware threats out of the 10 that I left. All right, let's take note that Norton's real-time protection is actually really impressive. I had to turn it off because it kept deleting malware instantly and messing up my tests. <laughs> Overall, it was a great and speedy result. However, Norton did use a bit more of our PC resources. I would definitely recommend Norton to any user that just wants to protect their devices in general and not have to overthink about it. Now, as for Bitdefender, it's really easy and intuitive to not only start scans, but to customize how and what you'd like to check. The full system scan took around 18 minutes and it caught, well, eight out of 10 malware threats. So both providers have very good results this time around. However, Bitdefender was a little bit slower, but it also used less of our PC's resources, so. And it comes with different profiles so you can tweak things a little bit more. So I'd recommend Bitdefender for users who are constantly doing resource intense activities. And other than that, these tests, including our previous video reviews and discussions, all show that both of these are nearly perfect when it comes to protecting your data and your PC. Okay, now that we know that both Norton and Bitdefender are some of the best antivirus for Windows 11 options, but you know, there is another thing that can determine which one you'll choose, mm -hmm, the available features. Now I'm comparing these plans specifically for two reasons. One, I believe that these are the most feature packed, the best bang for your buck plans out there. And two, they have features that are extremely useful for individuals, families, and even small companies versatility. Mm. And these are Norton and Bitdefender's most popular plans. So if you're looking for the best antivirus for PC and would like to have the holy trinity, you know, antivirus, VPN, password manager in one complete package, well, guess what? Both providers have you covered. Now, while individually these tools can't match, let's say NordVPN or 1Password, but they're still really useful if you want to have complete protection all under one roof. For Norton Deluxe, another important feature are those oh-so-helpful parental control tools. For example, with school time, you can manage what your child can access while they're learning online. After the whole pandemic thing, I think we all now know how useful these tools really are. Oh boy. Now, the Deluxe plan comes with a pretty unique cloud storage feature that lets you safely store up to 50 gigabytes. It also has a safe cam feature, which protects your camera from any creeps, you know, trying to do their stupid thing. But Bitdefender Total Security doesn't fall that far behind. It also comes with a free basic VPN, parental controls, and a password manager. So in a way, Norton 360 Deluxe versus Bitdefender Total Security both offer their own ecosystem to fully protect your information and your devices. However, 
As I mentioned before, Bitdefender comes with different profiles, so you can customize how many resources it eats up while it's in action. And another thing that Norton is lacking is File Shredder, a tool that completely destroys your files. You know, working with sensitive data at home these days, well, it's easy to appreciate any extra help you can get. Now combine that feature with the secure browsing feature, <laughs> and you have one hell of a package. Ultimately, either of these plans will give you what you need, including stuff you didn't even realize you needed. So it's best to look for the features that you, yes, you actually need the most. And no modern antivirus can be considered good if they're hard to use or navigate. Since Norton and Bitdefender antivirus are two of the most popular antiviruses out there, well, it's no surprise that both of them have easy to understand navigation with a nice intuitive design. But the Norton Deluxe Antivirus desktop app does require a bit of getting used to. It's kind of oddly structured, and there's this stock image that takes up half the app for no reason. Uh, at least no reason I can see. Now Bitdefender is a bit sleeker and pretty much what you'd expect from an antivirus. Getting around to the options that I wanted was a bit more streamlined and it felt more intuitive overall. As for the mobile apps, Norton 360 versus Bitdefender both do a good job at making their apps feel easy, even fun to use, dare I say. But I did find that Norton 360 is geo-blocked in some Google Play Store locations, so yeah, you might just need to download an APK file directly from Norton's website. And this does make Bitdefender a little more widely accessible. Just saying. And while Norton Antivirus might have a few more settings for iOS, I still actually prefer Bitdefender's overall approach a little bit more. And of course, none of us are made out of money, except my friend Ben. He's got trees in his family lineage. It's, it's weird, don't ask. So anyway, how much a good antivirus is gonna cost can be a major factor for the rest of us. First, Norton doesn't have any free versions, but you can try it in trial mode for seven days. After that, well, you're gonna have to pay up. Bitdefender, on the other hand, does have a free version, and dare I say it, one of the better free antivirus offers on the market. While it doesn't have a ton of features, it does what it's supposed to do. You know, remove existing threats, ta-da. But it's probably not gonna do much in the case of mitigating advanced infections. Now, yes, the main event was Bitdefender Total Security versus Norton Deluxe, and price-wise, these plans are actually quite similar. Norton Deluxe goes for around $50 the first year and then around $100 after renewals. Bitdefender Total Security goes for around $40 for the first year and then around $90 after renewals. So in total, you're going to see around a $10 difference. Okay, well, should you pay more for Norton? I am actually going to go ahead and say yes if you need a VPN without daily limits and or if you want extra cloud storage space. If you don't need those things, well then yeah, Bitdefender will also do a great job protecting your PC. Also, Norton Deluxe versus Bitdefender Total Security both offer a money back guarantee if you don't like their product. Bitdefender offers a more standard 30 day guarantee, while Norton goes out of its way to give you 60 days. Now you can really make sure that you like their antivirus or don't like it if that's the case for some reason. Ultimately, these providers are both very similarly priced. And sure, Bitdefender is a bit cheaper, but Norton comes in with that large cloud storage space. So budget users, go ahead and check Bitdefender. If you can spend more and you wanna get more, go Norton. Hey, do the right thing. It only takes two clicks. Thanks, other Mike. Okay, to sum things up, both Norton and Bitdefender are great products. They both offer great security and useful features. But to be fair, I just like Norton a little bit more, and I'm confident that you'll love it if you need lots of other features. For a cheaper deal with some of the same defenses, you could try Bitdefender. And if you want more amazing video reviews like best antivirus for Windows 10, well, be sure to visit our channel. To get the best deals for both Norton and Bitdefender, well, be sure to click the box on my side. That side, right? Yep. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Cyber News video.